The cheetah's legendary 70 miles an hour speed record is just a myth. But their true top speed of 58 miles an hour is still extraordinary. I mean, uh, the, the marvellous thing about the natural world is that it's, it's, it's so varied. And, uh, you know, I mean, everybody thinks, you know, and quite rightly, I mean, chimpanzee is fascinating. But so are snails, you know. Um, slugs are amazing. The mating of the leopard slug is one of the most sensuous film sequences you'll ever see in your life. It's true. Um, and if you dive on a barrier reef or a coral reef and you suddenly see the most extraordinary pageant of fabulous creatures, of the most wonderful colours, the most extraordinary shapes, absolutely like, unlike anything else you see on land at all. It's, it's a revelation. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's the one moment that I would, uh, I would mention, yeah. Well, there are about, um, I don't know what the latest number of different animals there are in the world, but something of the order of 10 million, I should think. So we've got quite a few to go. I mean, I've been at it for 60 years, but, but I still haven't got anywhere near, the, I'm not anywhere near my first million, let alone my first thousand. <laughs> so there's a lot to go. Fleas appear to be extraordinarily strong. After all, this little badger flea here pulling this chariot, what an extraordinary thing. That's the equivalent to me trying to pull a jumbo jet single-handed. And this tiny merry-go-round, that too is completely powered by fleas. Now, fleas will, um, everyone else say, will say they can jump very high. And indeed, they can, and they have to, in order they get onto the body of, their, of the animals they're going to infect or suck the blood of. But people will happily tell you that they can jump, the, equi the equivalent of a human being jumping over St Paul's. It isn't true either. If oh, you were the, an animal, what would you be? Oh, the leopard slug. <laughs>